Thank you very much for that kind uh, introduction and for inviting me to speak here tonight. And thank you all for coming out to see this talk. So what I want to say from the outset is just to reiterate that point about Gustav Kuhn. He unfortunately couldn't make it tonight. And an awful lot of the work that I'm going to be talking about is either in collaboration with him or principally conducted by him. Okay. Um, what I want to talk about today is to try and think about how science and magic can work together to tell us more about how the brain works and what we understand about human behaviour. Now, typically, we see these two things as rather separate entities. After all, magic aims surely to mystify us, whereas science aims to explain. What I, what I want to talk about today is how we can use scientific approaches to understand more about how the magician achieves their magic, and also think about how we can learn from magic about the way in which our brains work. So the first question that we obviously have to ask is what do we mean by magic? What is magic? Now rather than me trying to explain that to you, I'm going to hand over to Harry Mudini, who's going to show you a selection of different kinds of magic. But magic is getting the mic to work. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you all hear me? Yes. 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 Struggle without the mic. In the talk tonight, you hear about misdirection, deceiving your eyes. I've uh, let you see some very, very simple magic. There are some magicians in the audience tonight, of course, the guys, not all the big stuff. <laughs> very, very simple stuff, but very effective. This is the smallest thing I shall do, simply because these are very difficult to see. I'm going to ask you all to memorise a card. <laughs> <laughs> Easy version. <laughs> We're going to place this on top of all the cards on the deck. We're going to close the deck. Have a box with a plastic, genuine plastic. I shall ask you all, or half the audience, to watch my hands. The other half to watch my sleeves. Watch everything I do. I shall place the box inside the holder. I shall give it a rub, throw the card away. Some of you may think, not very impressive. I shall give it another rub, I shall throw all the cards away. Did that impress you? Not very much. <laughs> we shall take the box. Are you ready? A little rub, and we throw the box away. The thing is, did you wash my hands? Did you wash my sleeves? Did you see the box go up? <laughs> <laughs> right, we need a volunteer for this. Do you have any hands in the audience? Don't worry, no cutting in half tonight, you're all right. <laughs> right, let me very quickly pick somebody. So I'm going to bore you. Just gently there. Is your hands like that? Can you come in? Give me a hand. Stand on the spot. There are two sets of cards in my hands. ESP cards. All different things on the cards. We shall let you see these in one second. Which cards do you like? These ones. These ones? You have these ones? I shall let you see these. Okay, they're all different signs on the cards. Can you show your cards to the audience? Michelle, you put these hands in your hands and mix all the cards up. And can you do this face down so even you don't know where the cards are? Okay, fine. What I'm going to ask you to do, once again, if you hold these cards up, just face these to yourself. Yeah. yeah, so you can see the cards. Just quickly memorize the cards in your brain. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Mix the cards again. <laughs> so I'm trying to confuse you, you see? What I'm actually going to do is this. I'm going to take my cards and I'm going to try and read your mind. Trying to 
Stück nicht hier. Okay, we'll just slide this up. Right. Now, well, let me see. Um, Brian, because I know your name. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pick a number, any number you like? Four. Four. Can you select any card you like? Just hand me a card, don't look at the card, just give me any card. And the number you said was four. One, two, three, and four. You should just place this in like so. You see, you're only in the blue. Now, can you give me another number, not four? Uh, two. Two. Any cards you like? You should place this in two. Can I come across a young man in the blue shirt? Can you? One. One. Don't leave you in the front. Can you give me another? Five. Five. <laughs> I mean, one left. Shall we try to measure? Yes. Okay. Randomly selected numbers. Randomly handed cards. <laughs> You think you're seeing, but you're not really seeing. You know what this is called, yes? The Rubik Cube, yeah, good. I'm going to try very hard and solve the puzzle. This is very good. <laughs> it goes on like this. We have a lid. We all count to three. Can you do that for me? We're going to go. One, One two, two, three. sleeves at all times. Ah, you think in here? 